Now I think we can all agree that one of the most fun things about Crusader Kings 3 is that you can kind of create your own storyline and you can just role play with that. So I just wanted to give you an example of what I do at the start of one of my games that I think will help you make your games a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's start in the Viking era, and I usually like to create my own character as I find it makes it a little more relatable. So I want this guy to be a Viking warrior, with martial and prowess their strong points. But then I'm also going to need to be quite persuasive. So let's put some extra points into the intrigue skill. I am very very sneaky sir. I mean sure this guy's a little OP, but this isn't just your regular Viking and you'll see why in a bit. This Viking character rejected the old gods and is now an outcast. I don't believe in the gods existence. So the first thing we need to do is create a new faith. It's behind this new faith that we hope to one day reunite the north and conquer. Now one of the problems with starting with a pagan religion is that you need to control three holy sites. Well this is how we can get around that problem. With a program called Cheat Engine, we can change our faith to one where you don't need to control any holy sites to reform it. Now of course, I could have picked this religion at the start of the game, but I wanted to display this problem in case you came across it yourself. And then again with Cheat Engine, we can give ourselves enough piety to be able to afford the reform. And then we just need to add in a few basic details for the religion, make a few small edits with the save file, and then our new religion is finished. And if you need to know how I did all that, you can check out my tutorial on how to create your own custom religion. Do it. All right. So I think now it's time to disclose what makes this Viking so special. And even if you know just a tiny bit about Viking history, you must have heard of Ragnar Lothbrok and his sons. Well, the character I've created is actually a son of Ragnar. But how do we display that in game? I'll show you. Using Cheat Engine or the game's debug menu, you need to find what Ragnar's in-game ID is. You can see this displayed under the debug purple text. Then once you have the ID, you can go into the save game file where you will see listed Ragnar's children. All you need to do then is add in your player's ID to that section. So when we jump back into the game, you will see that we have Ragnar listed as one of our parents and Ragnar's sons as our siblings. Because we are all sons of Ragnar Lofbrok. And I think by using this method, it gives your starting story a lot more depth than what you get in the original base game. So try to think up really creative ways on how you can start your own game. Being the outcast we are, we no longer abide to the rules of the old way. There's only one rule in this f***ing jungle. So we're going to get rid of the confederate partition and we're going to go with a single wear succession line. And with the use of a mod, we can do this at the start of the game. To add a bit more backstory, we were banished from our previous home, but with our fighting skills and deceiving ways, we managed to make claim on some land in Norway. It's mine. Over time, we slowly converted a few counties to our new faith. We can display this in game once again with Cheat Engine. All we need to do is replace the faith ID of each county. And then before our game's set up and ready to go, we just need to edit a few cosmetic changes like the color of our religion. This can be done by changing the RGB code in the save file. Yeah, I don't know what that means. And that concludes my video on how to make your Crusader Kings free storylines more interesting. I hope this video has given you a few ideas and if it has, let me know what they are in the comments. But thanks for watching as always and until next time. <laughs>